Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Malin and I am doing the DCP right now, currently. I am so sorry that I have not been back lately. It's been a few months since I posted last. So I just want to say like Happy New Year and Happy Valentine's Day and all that fun stuff because that's how much we've missed. Again, really sorry, but I do have some updates for you. So this video is going to be about convention guide part two, basically what it's like to extend in this role. So now that I, it is spring, I have done both fall and spring as a convention guide. And I can honestly say that summer is probably not going to be anything because we don't have a summer festival, which is a really big part of what we do as special events. So I can tell you everything. So last, in my last video, I talked to you about Halloween parties and food and wine and that stuff and then I talked to you a little bit about the Christmas tree trail and candlelight and that kind of thing. So this time we're actually going to talk about the spring stuff. So flower and garden and festival of the arts, that kind of thing. So oh and also I actually got convention trained which is something now that you like you get accepted as a convention guide. What that means is you have an umbrella of convention guide and then underneath you have special events, which is who claims you first, you have conventions, and then you have media, which are shifts that you can pick up, but you're not necessarily trained for. So as a convention guide, you basically get to do all of the special events that happen around the countries at night for illuminations. So people will rent out an area and for like business parties or whatever the case may be, and you are in charge of that area. So as a convention guide, basically you guide the group there. You make sure that only people who pay for the event are actually there. So they will have credentials and that kind of thing. And then you guide them out. And so it's pretty much just sort of guarding an area, really. Sometimes it involves when they buy out an attraction. Like the other day I was at Test Track. Uh, sometimes it involves clicking. Sometimes it involves other little small details here and there. Sometimes it involves food, drinks. Sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on the situation. But ultimately, anything that is illuminations connected, you're generally there as far as when people want to see the fireworks from a special viewing area. Now, going into the festivals for special events, because con that's conventions, what I just described to you. And that's all throughout the year. It's the same thing th around the lagoon, that kind of thing. With special events, that changes from festival to festival. So. In the fall, you have food and wine, and you have festival of the holidays. So for food and wine, we did annual pass holder, we did Joffrey's, we did the playground. For festival of the holidays, we did candlelight. And now, and then during that time, we also had the second thing that we helped out with, like the Christmas parties and Christmas tree trail. And then we also had Halloween parties. Going into spring, we have festival of the arts, and we have flower and garden. So for festival of the arts, it was a lot of there was some animation academies, so the things back in Hollywood Studios, back in the day in Hollywood Studios, they used to have an animator teach you how to draw some of the characters. They bring that back for Festival of the Arts in the Festival Center, and we're the ones who basically, we set out all the materials and we count the audience that comes in, audience for lack of a better word, the guests that come in. Um, and then we also are in charge of mural, the mural that you may have painted. Some of you might have seen it on YouTube where you get to paint a few squares of this giant picture that we have up. Um, we also do, so we're the ones who hand out the paint for that and we're the ones who hand out the brushes and we give you the postcards. That's what we do for that. So the seminar area is basically Animation Academy, but sometimes it's more in depth. We had merchandise designers come in and talk about what they do, topiary designers, that kind of thing. Um, that was a nice segue into Flower and Garden, which is what we are doing now. So what we do for Flower and Garden is we are a part of the Rose Walk Playground. It's over by Flavorful Kitchen, and it's the Playful Playground. Get it? So we basically, we make sure that everyone comes in with a parent, they have shoes on. We're more there for safety precautions than anything, just to make sure that, you know, if something gets too hot, we close it down, that kind of thing. Then we're also in charge of the butterfly net, and we're more about keeping track of the numbers for that and making sure that our butterflies are safe and that kind of thing. So that's what we're doing right now for Flower and Garden. Um, we also have the Go-Go Squeeze that happens on the weekends for the Butterfly Garden. So we're in charge of making sure that Go-Go Squeeze is full, kind of like what we were doing for the Halloween parties. Um, 
And I will leave a tag for my first video down below as well, so you guys can go ahead and take a look at that, because that goes more in depth with the Halloween parties and food and wine and that thing. So really, that's what it's like to extend in the convention guide role. I am lucky to be a part of this team. I've gotten really, really close with a lot of the people that are regularly here, part-timers and whatnot, and it's been an experience. It's been really cool. I actually really enjoy it. It's not anything that involves event planning or anything. We're more so there to help out, help the operation itself. Um, but I enjoy it for the most part. I really, really enjoyed the Halloween parties. That was my favorite part of this whole experience because I just loved how active it was. I'm a very active person, so I really enjoyed that. As far as all the stories I have and everything, well, you'll just have to comment down below. Let me know that you actually want to hear those, and maybe I can do like a crazy guest stories video or something for you guys. Just let me know what videos you want to see next. I am happy to oblige. I hope that you enjoyed this one. I hope you got a better idea of what it's like to be a convention guide for the year. Um, and yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thing. And I can't remember what it is. Ooh. <laughs> Oops. I remembered. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stop the film <laughs> for a moment. <laughs>